If you're someone who gets obsessed with every NASA launch or is first in line to see any movie where the rogue fighter pilot pushes the plane to the limit, you may be into a career in aerospace engineering. Hey, I'm Carla from Road Trip Nation and today we're exploring what it's like to be an aerospace engineer. Let's take off! Aerospace engineers design and build anything that flies, inside or outside of our atmosphere. There are two main sectors of aerospace engineering. Aeronautical engineering focuses on flight within the Earth's atmosphere, so think planes, helicopters, and even drones. Astronautical engineering deals with space. These engineers build spacecraft, satellites, and launch vehicles. But even though you can work on tons of different vehicles and contraptions, Aerospace engineers all use math and science to make sure their respective project can fly. To show the wide range of specialties you can carve out within this field, we talked to several different aerospace engineers about their current work. Uh, what I'll be doing will entail overseeing some other engineers working on developing a physical prototype that we are actually going to launch up to the ISS for testing, as well as developing the physical systems that we're going to then launch aboard a spacecraft to remove orbital debris. My name is Austin Ellis. I was looking to move on to something where I could leave a little bit more of an impression. A recruiter came along at some point and told me about this. Uh, at the time, a pretty small company called Spire, and uh, the rest is history. Spire, on a high level, we are a space-to-ground data and analytics company. Uh, we're primarily interested in uh, tracking ships and getting weather data. And uh, we've also built uh, the world's first high reliability commercial space program uh, to, in order to support those products. I am the mission lead of the Mars Curiosity rover. It is an SUV size nuclear power uh, laser beam eye rover. So it's sort of kind of like you're reading something on a Marvel comic, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, my job is to um, troubleshoot anything that happens to the rover. So anything that goes wrong with the rover is my problem, it's my team that needs to figure it out. Come on, how can you not be totally curious about this career? For everyone who is totally hooked, let's dive into some more details about aerospace engineering. For aerospace engineers, the median salary is $122,270 a year. This career is projected to grow by 5 to 10 percent through 2030, which is about average for the U.S. job market as a whole. That means that while it's not experiencing a huge amount of growth, it should still be considered a steady career to pursue. Aerospace engineers get to enjoy a high starting salary, but you'll have to invest in your education to get there. To become an aerospace engineer, you'll usually need at least a bachelor's degree to get your foot in the door. You can major in aerospace or aeronautical engineering, or you can explore other areas of engineering, like mechanical engineering or electrical engineering. I have a mechanical engineering degree, which covers a lot of bases. Yeah. Uh, you can get into almost any field with a mechanical engineering degree. Um, so that's kind of how I, I chose, knowing I wanted to go into aviation, which also could involve manufacturing. And so mechanical engineering was the right fit. There's another route too. A large number of aerospace engineers pursue their degrees through the military, which can help you save on costs and get hands-on training while you're completing your studies. I've always wanted to design something. I've always wanted to invent something. And um, I joined the Air Force and got to work with lots of technology and test different technologies. And, and the last decade and a half, I've been able to enable lots of scientists and engineers to do that. Next generation weapon, next generation aircraft. And I was, you know, really inspired to do that. As an aerospace engineer, there are also some human skills you'll need. You know, the stuff you won't learn in a classroom. Two of the biggest skills you'll need for this career are curiosity and a healthy relationship with failure. Because this is a job where you'll be working on some of science's biggest questions, and there's no guarantee you'll always find the answers. One skill that I will say is chief among them all that I really struggled with at the beginning and had to get better at and still am is asking questions. Question everything. Having the mind for analysis and figuring out 
what steps you need to take to get from conceptual idea to something practical that actually accomplishes a task entails figuring out a lot of information along the way, and most of that has to come from realizing what you don't know and what you need to know. And I started to explore in my mind why we go to Mars with a huge rover. If we put a smoking hole on the surface of Mars when we tried to land Curiosity, I would have definitely failed. My team would have not been successful, right? But I think humanity is better for trying that and making a smoking hole on the surface of Mars than never having tried. Don't put your value in success. Put your value in your effort. So how can you start building these skills and get on the path to aerospace engineering? Look for engineering or aviation clubs at your school. Talk to teachers or counselors about getting into an advanced math or science program. Or research some of the companies featured in this video and see if any of their employees would be willing to share their story with you. Most importantly, stay curious about how the world works and keep letting yourself be amazed by the power of flight. I love the test. <laughs> Seeing the flame come out and depending on the project, sometimes the building could shake from the rumble, a lot of thrust and power and you can feel it in, in our control room. And knowing that we're contributing to the mission of the agency. Space is scary and big and daunting, but it's not unattainable. And one of the big steps to take is to just kind of go for it and see how it goes. If you like this video, make sure to throw us a like and subscribe to our channel. And let us know which careers you want to see featured next in the comments below. Bye. <laughs> Got it? Cut.